wood stove door gasket replacement. To properly replace a wood stove door gasket, you will need appropriately sized replacement gasket material and a tube of black gasket cement, which can be purchased individually or in kits from rutlandproducts.com. You will also need a stiff wire brush and a razor blade or shears. You may also want to wear rubber gloves. To determine the proper size replacement gasket for your specific stove door, refer to your stove's owner's manual or visit your stove manufacturer's website. If this information is not available, there are two ways to determine the size needed. Using a standard ruler, measure the width of the gasket channel or cut the old gasket material into two pieces and measure its width. To begin, remove the old gasket material and clean the gasket channel of loose debris, soot, creosote, grime, and old cement using a stiff wire brush until thoroughly clean. Next, dampen both the gasket channel and the gasket material to ensure the cement fully adheres to the metal. To dampen the channel, simply wipe along the inside of the gasket channel with a damp cloth wrapped around your index finger. Holding the same damp cloth in your hand, now dampen the replacement gasket material by pulling its entire length through the cloth. Now you're ready to apply the cement. First, knead the unopened tube of cement for 30 to 45 seconds prior to application to improve product flow. Then, cut the tip of the cement tube at the angled line shown on its nozzle to open a hole approximately 1 8 inch wide. Carefully begin squeezing a small bead of cement along the entire length of the stove door gasket channel. Next, press the dampened replacement gasket material into the cement the full length of the gasket channel. You may want to lightly secure the gasket material with strips of masking tape during this step. Trim off extra gasket material using a sharp razor blade or shears. Then, dab a small amount of gasket cement to seal the two gasket ends together. Remove any masking tape and close the stove door to help press the gasket material further into the cement to ensure a good seal. You'll have a good fit and seal if the new gasket material doesn't pucker, fall out, or pull away from the channel. Once you've determined the fit and seal of the gasket material are good, leave the stove door open for at least an hour to air dry. Next, begin the heat curing process. Start a small kindling fire and allow that small fire to burn for one hour to draw out the initial moisture. Add kindling as needed to keep this small fire burning steadily. After one hour, slowly add more wood to build a large, steady fire. Keep this large fire burning continuously for another hour at a temperature of at least 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Use an infrared digital thermometer to periodically check the temperature of the firebox area to ensure it is at 500 degrees Fahrenheit or above. The entire process of heat curing the gasket cement should last between one and a half to three hours. The key is to slowly build the fire to a large fire so that you don't cure the outside of the cement prematurely and trap moisture inside the bead. Once heat curing is complete, your gasket application is complete. 